<laughs> hey you guys, it's Christina and we're here at the Woodstock Fruit Festival having the most amazing time ever. I have been a low-fat raw vegan for over eight years now. Living it, breathing it, totally fully raw, loving it. Living and eating solely on fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds, all in their most natural state. It's been pretty amazing, this journey, just because I went from being hyperglycemic of 87 pounds to now being super healthy, super athletic. I love running. I run like six to eight miles a day. I love to swim. I love to dance. And I feel like my mental clarity just from eating a plant-based, fruit-based diet has become so intense and so strong. And I think that just being here, the message is all about being yourself, A, but also about spreading this message and sharing this passion with other people because it's all about living through that divine inspiration. You know, I've had so many people tell me that, you know, if everybody in the world adapted this diet, it wouldn't be sustainable. But I'll tell you that it is absolutely the most sustainable thing you could possibly ever imagine because we're eating resources that we can regrow. We're not exhausting our resources, we're not damaging the environment. If anything, we're helping to nourish the environment, then we're paying more attention to the soil. We're paying more attention to the animals around us by not killing and eating them. We're paying more attention to our bodies because we're nourishing them with fruits and vegetables that have life in them. And you know, something that I always say is if you want to feel alive, why would you eat something that's dead? We are not being wasteful. And even if we don't finish all the fruit that we eat, we compost it, the seeds go back into the earth and they bring new life back to us. So is it sustainable? Absolutely, because you can grow fruit trees anywhere. You can grow them in your backyard, you can use you know, space in your apartment to grow more plants, and you can literally live in a more resourceful and beautiful way, in a very peaceful way. I think one of the most powerful things about this diet is that when you eat these foods that vibrate on such high frequencies, you also vibrate with that high frequency, and it's it's an energy of peace and compassion and love and gentleness. And even if in your heart right now you don't feel like you are that loving with yourself or you feel like maybe you have issues with self-sabotage, when you adapt this diet, the food is so good. It's so nourishing that you can't help but feel like you are doing something good for yourself. And eventually, it helps you develop more self-love, which is truly powerful. And so it may not be all about the food because there is a lot of work that you can do from there about healing your mind and healing negative patterns that you may have adapted throughout your life. It does start with the food and it, it can just continue with the food. And I think that for me, every day has been a healing process. For me, every single day has been a growing and a learning process. And you know, as you heal, you begin to enjoy life a lot more and it becomes more fun and then you get to have fun with other people and that's what brings it back to the community because the more people that you can share this with the more support you have the bigger family that you have and then the more people that do it it's 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 truly just a beautiful thing and I can't even tell you how awesome it is so do I think this is sustainable for communities absolutely Especially here at the Woodstock Fruit Festival, this event has grown. It's tripled in just three years. So you know the word is getting out there. You know the word about good food is getting out there, growing with sustainable practices, exercising, getting sunshine, getting sleep, giving hugs, smiling at people. I think it's just bomb.com. <laughs> So something um, that many people may not know is that I run a co-op called Rawfully Organic in Houston, Texas. It is actually the largest in the U.S. with a little over 15,000 members just in the Houston area alone. We have three locations and 13 locations in different offsets outside of the city. And it's not a CSA where we support just one farmer year round, but it's a cooperative community, which means we buy from many different farmers, organic farmers only to support them in what they're growing. And we basically put together huge, affordable, abundant boxes of just fruits and veggies, just produce, no other sold type prepared commodities, but just getting people the opportunity to be able to go home with a huge bounty of organic produce that they can make. 
and through this community I've started making YouTube channels and recipes and what they can do with their boxes, how they can feed their families and it's honestly just been a huge blessing. Like I never thought in my life that people would tap into or hone into eating in communities or just being able to be so open about going home with a box of something they had no idea what it would be. But it's been really awesome and we have co-op three days a week. It runs completely non-profit. We have about 30 volunteers a day who come and help sort and it's been freaking phenomenal. I love it and it's become just like a home away from home even when I'm not with my family and so I think it brings it back to the community when people are starting to see that food can change their lives and it's up to all of us to lead as an example. So I just want to tell anybody out there that if you are new to this diet or if you're starting or if you've been doing it for a long time, just dig within your heart and do not be afraid to live as an inspiration because you already are an inspiration, you just don't know it yet. So even if you want to do it, just do it. Try one fruit meal a day. Try sharing one meal a day with somebody or if you've been doing this for a really long time, just start really putting your heart out there and start getting more people to do it because the more people that we have doing this, the more peaceful, the more loving, and the more fun our world will be. And I send you all my hugs. <laughs> Beautiful.